right, what's going on? Uh, I got um, me here in this book of Revelations, all right? And I want to show this connection between Ezekiel uh, 1 and uh, Revelations 4. Uh, see, similarly to this, like also here in Revelations, it talks about like these four horsemen. And in the Song of Moses... There's this part where he, God talks about his his arrows of famine and pestilence and the beasts and war. You know what I mean? So, look, there's a connection, but if you don't know how to, like, jump back and, uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, you got to know the, uh, the schematic and you kind of got to, like, lay the... It'd be like if you had multiple scrolls and you opened them up to certain books and laid them side by side, it, it would say like the full story. So, but anyway, just like this, this right here. And look, since I'm do the sky watch, I see rainbows all the time. I've seen smiley face looking rainbows or frown looking rainbows. And uh, I, I often wonder what some of these sights are, these amber shaped, uh, like, uh, lights and all these strange luminescence but anyway chapter four after this i looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which i heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and i will show thee things which must be hereafter and immediately i was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and the one who sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like jasper and a sardine stone and there was a rainbow round about the throne and in sight like unto an emerald and round about the throne were four and twenty seats and upon the seats i saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment and they had on their heads crowns of gold and out the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices and there were seven lamps of fire which burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of god and before the throne there was like a sea of glass unto crystal and in the midst of the throne round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes uh, before and behind and pause for a second but i also see these eyes all the time like many eyes in the sky okay so it's like and, and then he says it it's like look it says this rainbow cometh right but when he sees them, and he also looks like this burning amber or whatever, and there's also a part where it says something like, uh, there's a burning cloud which foldeth in, uh, in on upon itself, and look, I've seen something that looked like that in the sky, and it's like, is it actually, like, truly like the, like, uh, when it said, uh, uh, Jesus will return in the clouds with power and great glory, what if it, it's like, and it says like a year to God is like a hundred to man. So it's like, what if it's been slowly creeping up on us? And it's like, this is the throne, like approaching, but we can only see the outer rainbow and the eyes in the wheel. Anyway, and, the th and before the throne, there was like a sea of glass, like unto crystal in the midst of the throne. All right. And the first beast was like a lion, the second beast like a calf, the third beast had a face like a man, and the fourth was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts, each had of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory, honor, and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him and sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Okay? Now, you roll back, roll back real quick to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 1. Oh, there we go. He's in the right neighborhood, but not in the right address, if you dig what I'm saying. And actually, this actually continues on. It goes, jumps from Ezekiel 1 to Ezekiel 10. And Ezekiel 10 also speaks of the same thing that's mentioned in Revelations. Right there, Revelations 4. Right here. Then I looked, and behold, in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims, there appeared over him as were a sapphire stone. 
and the appearance of the likeness of a throne. And he spake unto man clothed with linen and said, Go in between the wheels, even under the cherubim, and fill thy hand with coals of fire from between the cherubims and scatter them over the city. And he went in my sight. Now the cherubim stood on the right side of the house when the man went in and the cloud filled the inner court. Then the glory of the Lord went up from the cherub and stood over the threshold of the house. And the, and the house was filled with the cloud and the court was full of the brightness of the Lord's glory. And the sound of the cherubim's wings was heard even unto the outer court as the voice of the Almighty God when he speaketh. And it came to pass that when he had commanded the man clothed in linen, saying, Take from the fire between the wheels and between the cherubims. And he went in and stood beside the wheels. And one of the cherubims stretched forth his hand from between the cherubims unto the fire that was between the cherubims, and took thereof and put it in the hands of him that was clothed with linen, who took it and went out, and appeared unto and then there appeared in cherubim form of a man, its hands under their wings. And when I looked, and behold, the four wheels were like the cherubim, and one wheel by one cherub, and another wheel by another cherub. And the appearance of the wheels was like the color of a barrel stone. See, if you know what these kind of stones are, you can guess more like what they're talking about, the color. But it's on the priest's breastplate. There was these different stones, and they have significance, each one. But anyway, and they're like, and their appearances for... They had one likeness as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. And when they went, they went upon their four sides. And uh, turned not as they went, but to look to the place whether they had looked. They followed it, and they turned not as they went. And their whole body, and their backs, and their hands, and their wings, and the wheels were full of eyes round about. Even of the wheels they had four had. As for the wheels, it was cried unto them in my hearing, O wheel, every one of the four faces. The first face was the face of a cherub, the second face was the face of a man, and the third face of a lion, and the fourth face of an eagle. And the cherubims were lifted up. This is the living creature that I saw by the river of Kibar. And when I saw the cherubims went, and the wheels lifted, and when the cherubims lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth, the same wheels also turned out from beside them. When they stood, these stood, and they were lifted up, these up themselves also, for the spirit of the living creature was in them. Then the glory of the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house, and stood over the cherubims, and the cherubims lifted up their wings, mounted up from the earth in my sight. When they went out, as the wheels also besides them, every one stood at the door of the east gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of the Lord Israel was over them above. And this is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river Kibar, where I knew that there were cherubims. Wait, I knew that they were cherubims. Everyone had four faces apiece, each one four wings, and the likeness of hands of a man was under their wings. And the likeness of their faces was the same faces which I saw by the river Kibar. And their appearance themselves, everyone went straight forward. Okay, now look. <clears throat> Rolling back to Ezekiel 1 to continue this uh, description here. Okay. Now it came to pass in the thirteenth year, the fourth month, and the fifth day of the month, I was among the captives by the river Kibar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. In the fifth day of the month was the fifth year in the king Geocochin's captivity. And the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel, the priest, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kibar, on the hand of the Lord was there upon him and I looked and behold a whirlwind came out the north I've actually saw a whirlwind and a great cloud and look a great cloud and fire enfolding in itself and the brightness was round about it and the midst of thereof <clears throat> was the color of amber and out the midst of the fire <clears throat> also also out the midst there came lightness of four living creatures and there and this was their appearance, and they had the likeness of a man. Everyone had four faces, everyone had four wings. Their feet were straight feet, the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. And they had hands of a man under their wings on their four sides, and the four had their faces in their wings. And their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went, and went every one straight forward. As for their likeness of faces, they had the face of a man, face of a lion on the right side, 
They four had the face of an ox also on the left, <clears throat> and they four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one that were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. And they went, every one straight forward. Wherever the spirit was to go, they went, and they turned not when they went. And as for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, and like the appearance of lamps. And it went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright. And out the fire went forth lightning. And the living creatures ran and returned as appearance of a flash of lightning. Now I beheld the living creatures, behold, wheel upon the earth by the living creatures uh, with his four faces, and the appearance of the wheels was their work was like unto the color of barrel, and the four had one likeness, and their appearance was like the work as it was in, were a wheel in the middle of a wheel, and when they went, they <coughs> went upon their four sides, and they turned out when they went, as for their rings, they were also high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them four. And I've also found, seen these giant rings that like basically like ring the whole sky. And actually we've seen these rings come out of the uh, portal over there in Europe too. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them, and the living creatures were lifted up from the earth as the wheels were lifted up. And wherever so the spirit was to go, they went thither the spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up over against them of the living creature was in the wheel and those went these went these stood when those stood these stood and when those were lifted up from the earth the wheels were lifted up over against them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels and the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was the color of a terrible crystal like a sun dog stretched forth over their head above and under the firmament their wings one towards another, every one had two which cover his side, every one had two which cover that side on their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, their noise was like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, when the voice of speech, and then as the noise of a host. And when they stood, they let down their wings, and the voice from the firmament was over their heads, when they stood, and they let down their wings. And above the firmament over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of a throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. <clears throat> and I saw as the color of amber the appearance of fire round about <clears throat> within from the appearance of his loins even, up for, even upward from the appearance of his loins downward. I saw as it were the appearance of fire and it. It had brightness round about, and is the appearance of a bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain. So was the appearance and the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard the voice of the one that spake. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing speaking to the guy in Revelations that's speaking to Ezekiel right now. You know what I'm saying? Just like you can go and look at the Song of Moses. And uh, see that it has a lot of similarities to the, and it also talks about the mark on those who follow the Lord and the mark on those uh, who don't, and which explains maybe part of the mark of the beast uh, imagery in Revelations as well. See, people don't get it that this book is from like thousands of years before the other, and uh they're talking about the same stuff.